today we will talk about hacking what is hacking hacking is also known as cyber hacking involving using unconventional or illicit method to gain unauthorized access to digital devices like computer system or computer network a classical example of hacking is a cyber crime cyber criminal who explores its security vulnerabilities or overcome security measures to break into a computer or network and steal data over time hacking has evolved and today's hackers enjoying sophisticated techniques after going unnoticed by cyber security software and it teams how you will understand there is a hacking occurred basically the network hacking is starting with router the router hacking occurs when a cyber criminal gains unauthorized control over your router similar to other type of hacking wifi hacking relies on overcoming security measures such as exploiting your router's admin password and unpatched vulnerabilities here are some signs that your router might be compromised how you will understand your router has been hacked or compromised with someone else that means the some other person has gained access unauthorized access over your router so what are the sign to understand that there is maybe hacking procedure is going on or some someone hacked your network system now the question is how do you understand your wifi hacked some security measures are there if you face this kind of issues then you may treat it as a hacking if you suspect that your wifi network has been compromised it's essential to take action promptly here are some signs that your router might be hacked router logging failure if you are having trouble logging into your router admin setting it can be a sign of hacking router cyber criminals may have used password attack to gain unauthorized access second is slow internet speed while various factors can affect internet speed experiencing consistently slower speed might indicate a wifi hack consider creating a unique network name i mean ssid you need to change it you need to prevent it from hacking next point browser redirects if your browser takes you to unexpected websites hacker might have altered at domain and ip address setting in your router regularly change your router's password and reboot to the patch security flaws suspicious network activity is also a sign review your wifi activity log for unfamiliar ip address so that you can understand that your router has been hacked or not if your router has been hacked then what are the common risk in this regard if your wifi is compromised or it has been hacked by the cyber criminal then what may happen certainly wifi security is crucial to protect your device and data here are some common wifi security risks and way to migrate them data interception what is this data sent over wifi can be captured by a bus droppers within a few hundred feet ensure your wifi uses aec ccmp encryption and retrieve legacy tkip it is more secure so that your data will be secured nobody can decode it next sign is denial of service dos wireless lan are vulnerable to dos attack use 8.802.11 w management frame protection and consider 5 gigahertz channel to reduce accidental interference 
so interference may be accidentally connected or the in the, the same frequency they can others can capture so if you are using 5 gigahertz then you can you will be isolated from their frequency rogue access point unauthorized apps pause a, pause a threat deploy a wireless ips to detect and migrate rogue apis effectively because it can monitor the unauthorized access the third one is wireless intruders use up to date wireless ips sensor to detect malicious wi-fi clients operating near your network and not only that if you check the active user from your router lo logging or router statistics you may be able to know that how many APs or the Wi-Fi is connected to your network. If you think that some Wi-Fi recipient is getting data from your network unauthorizedly, then you can block this network. That means that you can get their IP address and MAC address, you can block immediately so that they can't access your network in future. The important question is how do I secure my Wi-Fi network? To secure your network, you need to do some rational activities. Just like change the default network name, SSID. That means once you set up your router, you are giving some name of your SSID. That means the broadcasting ID. This ID can be changed and modified and you need to change it periodically. Modify the default name of the Wi-Fi network. Avoid using personal information and choose something unique this makes it harder to identify your network that means if they identify your network then only they will try again but if you use some unique name then it, it will be harder for them to find out next is create a strong password set a unique and robust password for your wi-fi aim for at least 20 characters including a mix of numbers letters symbols and special characters the stronger your password, the more challenging it for the hackers to crack. You may use special characters just like hash, exclamatory sign, dollar, at the rate, percentage like this. And this will be a combination. Don't use simple number, your name, any mobile number, any card number, nothing. Use some mix of letters, numbers, symbols, special character. And keep at least 20 characters so that they will face travel when they are trying to crack. Next is enable network encryption. Turn on in encryption for your Wi-Fi router. Most routers support WPA2 encryption which is secure. Activate immediately after installation. Do not keep it open security. That means open security anybody can be connected to your network without asking any password or without any hassle so use wpa2 encryption this is more secure and activate immediately after you install your router regularly update your router keep your routers firmware up to date a manufacturers release update to fix security vulnerabilities regular update help protect against known threats so update latest firmware to your router so that you will get maximum security the last one is disable ssid broadcasting turn off network name broadcasting this will prevent your network so this is all about your network security especially the router security and apart from that you can use ip and mac binding that i will discuss in our next video thanks for watching GTEC the ultimate solutions keep in touch you'll get this kind of videos very soon thank you